Welcome back to my Blues Connected franchise on Madden 19. Today I am actually going to be finishing this first season with the team. The way I'm going to do this is by playing the moments of these last three weeks. I don't want to play every single game and have three games in this last episode, so I will just be playing the moments. Someone suggested I just sim, but I don't really want to do that. I still want to play with the team a little bit, and I think this is a good compromise. So this should be the final episode of the first season. If it goes long, then it goes long. I can't really do much about it because I will finish it uh, this season in this episode. So we have to take on the Vikings, the Texans, and the Packers. We are in third place in the division. Very unlikely we make the playoffs, especially if we lose one of these games and we're essentially out. We're pretty much out anyway. Um, but a couple players can be upgraded a little bit more. Actually have a good number of them. We have four upgrade points. Maurice Hurst, let's start with him. Let's make sure he still fits the scheme. I guess I could have looked at his stats a little bit more, but it's okay. Due to block shed's pretty nice. Buck Snyder, what can we get up on you? So he's already a great speed rusher, which is the scheme fit. But I definitely want block shed to be increased. He has 86 speed. I kind of forget about that sometimes. Honestly, he's good in a bunch of different categories. Maybe try to go into power rusher just to get his power moves up a little bit more. It's a 77. Not too bad. So I'm actually going to do that. Goes up to an 84 overall. Awareness, play rec, power moves, and tackling. Not too bad, I guess. Lerone Cooper, our starting strong safety. Run support would be okay, because that could get up like hit power. But I kind of want his like coverage to go up a little more. So I think I'm going to go hybrid, because hybrid is, is pretty good at getting up uh, your coverage, and he should still fit the scheme. He's going to be an 80 overall now. And he got awareness, man coverage, and zone coverage. There we go. We got his coverage up a little bit better. And then Michael Spellman, the starting free safety. I'm just going to go into zone to try to get him to fit the scheme, and that's exactly what's going to happen. That upgraded zone coverage by two, awareness by two as well. So of course the team is tragic, but we will be getting better in the next episode. In this one, we just got to truck through three more games where I'm just going to be playing the moments. Hopefully the video doesn't run too long, but let's get started here with the game against the Vikings. I probably won't show every moment in these games because I feel like then the video will take too long, but right now, third down and ten, let's see if we can stop the Vikings. I'll show the first one here. Probably going to look to pass it. They have Adam Thielen very open on the outside. I can't get there in time to stop him. Clean 20 yards there for Thielen. Here's another third down. Let's see if we can get a stop here. This will be a pretty big stop in the red zone. I'm actually going to blitz and hope it's a run. It is going to be a run. Dalvin Cook gets by, though, for another first down. Kirk Cousins is going to go down. Maurice Hurst gets in the backfield for the sack. It took a while. Because everybody in the Vikings there was covered, and we hauled them to a field goal. Let's go. I did not realize it was third down in inches. I called five wide. I might be able to scramble this with with Knight. Let's see if we can, maybe. I'm just going to go with the run with him. He's going to shake off two tacklers, and then go down. Eventually, he's actually going to fumble. I tried to slide. I really did try to slide before the first contact. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> the team's now in the red zone. Let's start off with a run play here. See if we can get something going to the outside. There you go, Daniel Griffith. Come on, beat him to the corner. Oh, he got down to the one-yard line. Having a pretty solid game, uh, you know, for him so far. 10 for 44. Let's try to get Daniel Griffith this touchdown. Get this toss going to the outside. This should be a touchdown to Daniel Griffith. That's exactly what it's going to be. Dancing in the end zone as well. Nice job. Deshaun Hamilton over the middle. Break out of a couple tackles as well. Good effort there from Hamilton. Deshaun Hamilton again. Should be open. Gonna break out of that tackle. Let's see what else he can do. Nothing much else, but there we go. Getting down to the seven yard line. I'll take another time out here. Gus Edwards here running it right up the middle. No one even contested him. Very easy touchdown. Third down and nine. Let's see if we can stop the Vikings. I'm gonna guess pass. I definitely think they're going to the passing play here. Malik Jefferson checks into the game here. Gonna watch the running back? Okay, that looked like I, I probably could have intercepted that one. I'm not even sure who that was too, but there we go. Good stop. At some point there, we actually took the lead. 21 to 20. I think we had a pretty big play of some sort. I think it was either uh, like a really big pass or a really big run. I'm not exactly sure what it was, but let's try to watch over the middle here. Look at the running back. Just swat this one away. I tried to swat it away. I did not, but number 30 makes a beautiful play there. Way to go. Way to break up that pass. We are up by one point. And we are at the seven yard line. We just have to maintain possession for the rest of the game, really. We can actually win this game. 
I'm going to go with a run play. Hopefully, Gus Edwards doesn't fumble or anything. Lower your shoulder, my man. He's going to break out of those tackles. Man, if number 97 weren't there, that could have been a huge gain. Daniel Griffith with his outside zone. Going to juke it back inwards as well. There you go. We got a huge play there. Maybe put him over 100 yards on the day. I think he had about 80 yards before that. This is a big play here. It's third down and 10. They still have a timeout. I almost want to run the ball just to make them waste their timeout. Or not waste, but use it. I'm going to stick with the pass. Let's see if we can get a first down. I believe in the team. Alright, we didn't get a first down, but at least we completed the pass, making them use that timeout. Maybe here we can get a nice punt. I don't know what happened, but we have the ball back. I guess we got some form of a turnover. Sweet, we actually won this game. The team is better without me even playing. Alright, well Gus Edwards is going to take this one up the middle, break out of a couple tackles as well. And we'll call one more play. Probably just kneel it down to, to finish this one off. Surprisingly enough, this team came out victorious over the Vikings. Let's see how the team played. Kirk Cousins wasn't too good. Did he fumble or something? I actually can't see it there, but uh, he wasn't that bad, but he also wasn't that great. Only a 53% completion percentage. Trevor Knight was actually really good. 222 yards, 70% completion percentage, one touchdown. Daniel Griffith was great, 102 yards and that one touchdown. Let's see if anyone fumbled on their team. No, Dalvin Cook had 200 yards. Man, I don't think anyone fumbled. Yeah, it would, it would have shown there. Trevor Knight didn't have that one fumble when I was playing with him. Deshaun Hamilton, 7 for 123 and a touchdown. DJ Chark didn't play too well. Did any of their like, receivers fumble? I don't think I'd be able to see it from here. I don't know what happened, but we definitely got a turnover at some point. But let's check out the Blues some more. How many sacks were let up? No sacks were let up today. Not bad. Carlton Davis, 8 total tackles. 2 tackles for loss for Buck Snyder and Andy Vander does. 3 sacks for Maurice Hurst. Uh, do we have any forced fumbles? No, we have a couple pass deflections. Maybe they went for it on 4th down and didn't get it. We have a bunch of experience points to use here. There we go, we have 4 more. Let's go ahead, use them on Pat Lindsley. I think I probably want to go into pass coverage. His zone coverage is 74, but I want that to be a little bit better. So let's try that. Not going to get his overall up, but that's fine. Got up 3 different attributes. 2 to zone coverage, perfect. DJ Shark. Probably want him in slot, because that gets up a lot of important stats there we go that's five plus one to a lot of good stats there catching medium route running us all carlton davis let's try to get him into probably slot as well for the same reasoning slot on a cornerback is fantastic look at that upgrade one to a whole bunch of things two to zone coverage down there and then deshaun hamilton definitely going into slot 75 overall deep threat wide receiver two to awareness one to catching there we go, not too bad at all. So now we have to take on the Houston Texans, I believe. So let me spend my scouting points really quick. The Texans are also struggling this year. They are 5-9. and nine. Check out the division. We are still in third place. The Chargers are right above us at 7-7. Seven and seven. So we might be able to get number two in the division. Let me think. I think we split games with the Chargers. So if we both finished 8-8, eight and eight, it would come down to some different tiebreaker. But here we go. Let's take on the Titans. Not the Titans, the Texans. Oh no, Daniel Griffith just fumbled there, and the Texans got it back. Man, Daniel Griffith, what are you doing? That should be an interception. AJ Gardner comes down with that one. Oh, let's go. House it. You got this, my man. No, you don't. All right, well, at least we got a turnover back. Something happened where we turned the ball over again. Now they have the ball at the 13-yard line. Honestly, this is exactly <laughs> where we were earlier. I'm expecting a run play here. It's not going to be a run play. Let's see if we can... Force Deshaun Watson into another bad throw. We can't. Thomas is there for the completion. Lamar Miller right up the middle. I blitz too. That's just a great blitz pickup from the Texans offensive line. We've been on defense a lot in this one, but this time it's third and 21. Let's see if we can make this stop. We should be able to. It's quarterback contained and everything. I'm going to try to use our Markel Lee. Let's try to get back here with him. It's actually a screen that's not even going to be completed. Nice job. Our team is getting obliterated. 20 to nothing. We can't move the ball on offense at all. I've gotten like no moments on offense so far today. Let's try the run, run play to the outside though. Can we break by these tackles? No, we can't. Let's just hurry up and go for it. No, I can't. All right. Anyway, continue to the next moment. Did they actually end up going for it? Yeah. Okay, sweet. So we'll see what we can do here. Flanker under. <laughs> Interesting play call. 
Let's see if we can get it to work. Maybe looking at Perkins right away. Or maybe Hamilton on the sideline. Perkins should be open. Just straight up dropped it. There wasn't even anyone near him. Let's see if we can at least score for the stats. I think we got a couple more turnovers though. So that's pretty cool. DJ Chark may have been the outside. Can beat by his man real quick. Let's see. That safety looks like he's going to be there. A is wide open. It's going to be Joshua Perkins. Can't get into the end zone, but there's a pretty nice completion. Joshua Perkins in the end zone, wide open for the touchdown. Nice job. I keep not looking at what downage it is. It's third down and one, and I called another five wide situation like I did last game. Let's see if here we can convert this third down and one. I'm throwing this to X. DJ Chark is going to make the grab. Way to go, DJ Chark. Nice job. Y should be really open. Daniel Griffith. He's actually going to pick up this first down on third down and 19. What a clutch play. Come on, let's get a touchdown here. We can definitely do this. If we get back into this game, that would be unbelievable. I'm going to throw Joshua Perkins on a slant, see if he can catch this touchdown pass again. That should be another touchdown pass to Joshua Perkins. There we go. Come on, we got this. Defense, make a stop. Our defense stepped up. There's no way. We're actually getting the ball back. Daniel Griffith housed this one. That ball came directly to him. I don't even think he had to move. Come on, man. Big return. Nice juke move. Get back to the outside. Going to juke by someone again. Big return, though. Daniel Griffith to the outside. Nice run play. All right, gaining nice yardage right now. Just got to take our time on this drive. We have a lot of time left. Three timeouts and everything. X is going to be open. DJ Shark not going to be able to hold on to it. Nice attempt, though. A is wide open. Joshua Perkins making another huge play. Don't fumble. All right, nice job. We are in a prime position to make this comeback. Here we go. Daniel Griffith up the middle. He's at the one yard line. Oh no, this is getting way too close. I think I'm just going to call a toss. Or I could just do what I did the entire rest of the game. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go with like, a, like an inside zone, a nice run play, and then audible to a pass. Deshaun Hamilton, he's going to make the grab in the end zone. Trevor Knight, three passing touchdowns, all from like a yard away in the fourth quarter. And we should make this comeback. And that's going to be intercepted to end the football game. I don't even know who Charleston is, but we won. <laughs> How did we win that game? Was that the same score as the last one? Were they both 21 to 20? I don't know, but we were down by 20 points in the fourth quarter and we ended up winning that is absolutely remarkable let's go over these stats quickly if i can trevor knight really just kicked it into overdrive in that fourth quarter three passing touchdowns all in that quarter skyrocketing his rating because other than that he played pretty badly 262 yards isn't bad but 58 percent completion percentage and had an interception deshaun watson two picks one of those being on that hail mary Daniel Griffith was pretty good, 19 for 74, almost had a touchdown right at the end, but he did also fumble, which isn't great. Joshua Perkins, 6 for 80 with two touchdowns. Deshaun Hamilton had the other touchdown. DJ Chark doesn't get many, uh, doesn't get many targets when the CPU uses him. Four sacks lit up today, not too good, not too uh, great of a performance. Nine tackles for Maurice Hurst, three for loss though. Two for loss for Carroll Phillips, who also had half a sack, shared it with Buck Snyder. Ben Charleston... Some backup free safety we have, and AJ Gardner had the interceptions. Let's go through and use these experience points. Daniel Griffith got one. I would love to get a speed upgrade on him. His speed's like 90 or 91. It is 88. I thought he was faster than that. All right, well, let's go into elusive back. Make him an all-around better runner. This got up. Ball carrier vision agility. One to juke move, two to spin move. I really want a speed upgrade. That's okay, though. DJ Green doesn't start all that much. Let's just go into run support. 74 overall, strong safety. 3 to awareness, 1 to zone coverage, not too bad. And then Dorian Johnson, currently starting, but I don't want him to be starting for too long. 68 overall right tackle. He's not too good. Plus 3 to awareness, plus 3 to pass block. Not too bad. And now we have to take on the Green Bay Packers for the last game of the season. We have someone with a weekly award. 3 sacks for week 15? I didn't even notice that. But let's send by, maybe we got another player. I doubt it. He played well again, but not that well. The last game of the season. We are 7-8. and eight. The Packers 7-7-1. Seven, seven, the Chargers are also 7-8. and eight. 
If we win this game and they win theirs, I'm pretty sure we will be in second. Is there any way we can make the playoffs? Let me just see. So, any team with eight wins looking like they're going to make it into the playoffs? Let me go to the AFC. Here we go. So, we have those two divisional leaders. They already clinched. Um, who's the other divisional leader? So, we have the Chiefs, the Browns, the Ravens, Steelers are in the Browns division. Uh, the Bengals also are. Wow! Every team in that division is actually pretty good. The Patriots should make the playoffs, and then the Jaguars will likely make the playoffs. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it. So there's these two teams for sure, right? And then probably the Ravens. Oh, it doesn't matter. One of these teams. Okay, so it's going to be three teams from the AFC North that make it. It's just from the looks here. Unless the Steelers and the Bengals both lose, the Ravens win... And we win. We could make it at 8-8 eight and eight if these two teams lose. Do they play each other? I hope they don't play each other. That's the only way I think we can make it. Alright, well. Or, yeah, actually, yeah, I think that's the only way we can make it. Let's see if we can maybe make it into the playoffs. That would be amazing. I kind of like why on the outside here. Daniel Griffith isn't going to be able to pick up the first down. Maybe I had someone else more open. I probably did, but... Let's just take a field goal. We missed the field goal. I skipped by the moment because I was like, oh, they got it. it. It's a field goal, but no. We just freaking missed the field goal. All right, well, let's go with a run play. Kind of feel like running it with Gus Edwards here. Up the middle. There we go. Good blocking. Didn't get a chance to lower his shoulder. And my bad for that. Someone walked into the bathroom. He probably heard the door close, but still, there we go. Clean first down. I think I have Y pretty open. Deshaun Hamilton catching the slant. Can he beat by number 26? No, he's not going to be able to outrun number 26. That would have been a huge play. It still was, but I could have potentially went for a touchdown. Deshaun Hamilton coming on strongly in these past few weeks. Nice play there. Good job, Trevor Knight. Kind of getting to the outskirts of the pocket. Good throw as well. Daniel Griffith couldn't pick up that first down. Try to get a bit sneaky with a screen pass, and it definitely didn't work. Can you please make this field goal? Okay, I'll just I'll just do it to make sure we make it here. Can't believe we missed the other one. We either missed it or we didn't even go for it. I think we were in position to go for it. But uh, all right, anyway, we took the lead, three to nothing. Their offense has been pretty good since the last time I was on the field. So here we go, ten to three is the score. Let's see if we can get this stop. Looking like a counter play. Aaron Jones just very open there, right up the middle. No one even came close to touching him. No, I couldn't get it to B. That would have been a touchdown if Mike Daniels didn't get through. I tried to wait like an extra half a second. Definitely shouldn't have done that. We at least got a touchdown at some point, so the score is 22-10. Should be 20-13 if I'm being honest. We should have had that field goal earlier. Let's see what we can do, though. Out of the pistol, Aaron Rodgers handing it off to Aaron Jones. I just was not even close to making that tackle there. Aaron Jones having a solid game against us. Gonna watch the running back the back of the end zone that's just going to be into the flats Valdez Scantling catches it not enough for a touchdown though this is a really big play right here it is fourth down and three I'm gonna throw DJ Chark on a slant come on man catch this over the middle it's actually kind of covered I don't really like anyone there I tried to just throw it to a or something didn't work man DJ Chark was covered immediately what a catch by Deshaun Hamilton Man, I love having him on this team. He's a great slot wide receiver. Here we go, guys. Probably the final play of this season. We are going to DJ Chark down the sidelines. I don't care if anyone else is open. That's the shot I am taking. Let's see if he can do anything here. DJ Chark, do your thing. He almost made that grab. All right, what a, what a bad final play to go out on, but at least it was a valiant effort. We are going to lose this game. We got completely put in our place that game. Couldn't really do much the entire way. Daniel Carlson. They went for a fake field goal, I think, on that first on that first drive. Instead of just kicking the field goal, I'm pretty sure they went for a fake. All right, well, Aaron Rodgers had a great performance. 80% completion percentage with a touchdown. Trevor Knight, 15 for 27, 226 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Honestly, has not been too bad since we needed him to start. Daniel Griffith didn't really do much today, but we were down the entire time, so it makes sense. 
He uh, tied with Shelton Gibson and Deshaun Hamilton for the most number of receptions. Shelton Gibson actually had a great game today. DJ Chark only had one grab. A bunch of sacks led up today. Offensive line did not play well. Richard Robinson had 14 tackles. AJ Gardner had 11. Two tackles for loss for Buck Snyder. One sack for Maurice Hurst. No interceptions. But we actually already knew that. I don't know why I even checked. That will do it for the season. I'm going to spend these final two experience points going to power for the punter. Why not? What is this kick power all about anyway? 94 kick power. Yeah, all right. AJ Gardner. I would love, love to get a speed upgrade. I'm just going to go into field general. I feel like I've seen it before. I don't think it happens too often. It's not going to happen there. That is okay. We finished this season 7 and 9. There's no chance we make the playoffs. Let me just give you a rundown. Actually, no, the week isn't simmed yet. So let me spend my experience point, not my experience points, my scouting points, and then I'll sim by one more week. We are not in the playoffs. It's okay. Who ended up making the playoffs? So let me go through the standings. Let me just see the records. Would we have made it if we won? I doubt it, but let's see. We would not have made it? Yeah, okay, so the Ravens and the Steelers are the wildcard teams. The Ravens went 10 and 6, Steelers 9 and 7, so we would have not made it. How close were we? We were actually pretty close. If we would have won that game, maybe we would have been above the Bengals. So we were actually very close to making the playoffs this year. That's all right. We almost made it at the end of this episode. That would have been ridiculous. Next episode, though, I will go over all of the stats, all of the yearly awards. Probably do free agency. I don't know why I said probably. I will for sure do free agency. I might do the draft. I kind of wanted to get your input, though. And I can't see my draft board right now. So maybe I won't do the draft next time. Maybe I'll just do, um, you know, the stats, end of season awards, all that good stuff. Spend all the experience points and then go through free agency. And then I think I will organize my draft board, show you guys the combines, all that good stuff. And allow you to help me draft this team. I'll just kind of give you guys my general general uh, like ranking system of all the players here. And you can let me know if you think someone's going to be better than someone I think is going to be pretty good. All that good stuff. Just give me your input next episode on the draft. But it was a relatively successful first season. We won seven games. Expected to win far fewer games, if I'm being real here. The Chiefs, though, 13-3, and dominated the division. We did beat them once, though, so we have that to look forward to. I'm not going to show any of the uh, experience points right now because I don't want to spoil any of the yearly awards for me in case we have any rookies who won. But anyway, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you were able to enjoy this first season. A lot of ups. Actually, not many ups. A lot of downs, I can say that much. And I will, uh, you know... Talk to you guys soon. Bye.